Hello everyone, it's Miss M back with another video. Today we're learning about Treasury Complementary Colors and Lauren Barana. So last week, of course, we learned about complementary colors and we already know our Treasury colors. But remember, complementary colors are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. So today the complementary colors that we're looking at are purple red. The complementary color to that is yellow green. Yellow orange complementary color is blue purple and Blue green's complementary color is red orange. All right, so this is Lana Barima. Lana Barima is a Nigerian born artist who is based in Texas. His beaded paintings are exhibited internationally. He was born in 1976. He is currently 45 and he was born in Sambo, Nigeria. And his artwork is very beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that because it's what is going to inspire our artwork for today. So here we have one of his beautiful lizard. It's nice and beaded, you can see this one. This is more of a painting, but you can see that it's still using a lot of colors and lines that we've already talked about. Like here I see a lot of straight and curved lines, lots of symmetry. And it also is using some primary colors like blue and red. This one's also using tons of straight lines, curved lines, circles, dots, kidney shapes, tons of lines, and tons of complementary colors. This one's also very, very beautiful. His artwork is using lots of lines and complementary colors. All right, and our goal and our I can statement for today is I can create art using lines and complementary colors. All right, and our core art standard that we're focusing on today is Inker standard number 11 which is relates arts, ideas, and works with social, cultural, and historical context to deepen understanding. So let's go ahead and get started on our project today, guys. All right, so hi, hello. This is my artwork. Today we're going to be working in portrait. So I'm gonna show you an example of what we're doing. We're doing some cool lizard drawings. I think these are absolutely beautiful. There are complementary colors, so of course, I'm gonna tell us the complementary colors again, but these are just using complementary colors. For our backgrounds, we're gonna be able to draw whatever we want. So I want you guys to start thinking about what you're gonna want for your background. You can be as creative as you would like. All right, so complementary colors. Colors that we can draw our lizards with are green, purple, or orange. So to draw your lizard, you can either use green, purple, or orange. So of course green, green's complementary color is red. Purple's complementary color is yellow. And blue's complementary color is orange. So blue and orange is our complementary colors. You can use either or of those combinations. Today what I wanna use, I wanna use purple and orange. So like I said, you can use any of the other colors. You can use orange or you can use green. I'm using purple. So whatever color you use to decide, that's what you're going to be drawing with. So I'm drawing with my purple first. I'm gonna start off with two circles near the bottom of my page. They're not very big, but they are pretty close to the bottom of my page. They don't have to be perfect, just two circles. Next, we're gonna go into a nice curved line to connect those two. It'll look kind of like a smiley face. Oop, beautiful smiley face. Just like this. I'm just double checking all of it. Our next one will be another curved line. It'll look like a cool little rainbow. Just like that. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. A nice curved line. Everything I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. Nice and curved. Whoop. Nice and curved. Now what we're going to do next is give our little guy three fingers. One. Two. Two. Three, they're curved lines. One, two, three. There we go. I'll repeat that on the other side. One, two, three. Ooh, great job. And I'm going to connect those with a curved line. I'm gonna go ahead and start right there. I'm gonna go down and to connect it. So now I have like these little tubes. Curved line, 
connect my little fingers. All right. That is the front legs of our lizard. The back will be also some curved lines for his little belly. It kind of looks like a slight S. Don't go all the way to the top because we need legs for his room. We need room for his legs. <laughs> all right. So this is a nice curved line. It goes out, in and out, in and out. So this is a nice, kind of like our mountain shapes. Nice curved line that we connect it with. See, he bulges out. And next are his back legs. Remember guys, you can pause at any time and rewatch any of these parts if you need to. All right. So for his little legs, what I'm going to be doing is making another curved line. They kind of look, it looks like a little muscle. A little upside down nose or kind of looks like a nose shape. So it's curve in and out. Curve up, down and out. I'm just telling you guys that we're going to do three toes. It's one, two three just like we did for his fingers one two three now I'm just gonna do the bottom of his legs that's that same kerchief one down up and down there you go it's okay if it's not perfect one of my legs looks better than the other so oh well I'm just going to draw his toe. I don't have a lot of room, so I'm going to try to squeeze it in there with another curved line. Go all the way down. And curve line. And connect it. And here I'll show you some of my other guys. You can see sometimes you might have more room. You might have less room. This guy has a pretty skinny tail too. But it's all okay. All our lizards are going to be different, just like us. All right. Next is to draw our little polka dots. Our little cow marks. They're going to be so great, so beautiful, so amazing. You could do them everywhere as much as you would like. It does not matter. So I'm going to go ahead and draw mine in. And you can draw yours in as well. Remember, yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. And you can have, add as many as you want want. All right, I'm just going to finish mine up. Remember, doesn't have to look like mine, guys. There we go. What I'm going to be doing next, my complementary color to purple is yellow. So I want to use yellow. I'm going to color the outside of my little lizard yellow and my polka dots will be yellow. Or I said that wrong. So your lizard will be the same color as your outline and the polka dots will be the complementary color same thing with this one i drew it in green and my polka dots are in red so that's what you want to do if you use different colors so make sure you're using the complementary colors so on this one i'm coloring my polka dots yellow and then the rest of my lizard will be purple so go ahead and a color yours in. This is mine. I'm Speedy Gonzalez. This is real time. I'm just kidding, guys. No, it's not. I speed these up for you. Remember, pause if you need to. You might want to pause during this. So get yours all colored in. And give your little guys little polka dots as well. All right. So for the backgrounds, you can do anything. You can have them crawling on a wall. You can have it giant like it looks like it's on a road. You can have yours on leaves. You can have it however you like. This is mine. I know I can't kind of, you kind of can't see it all the way, but the backgrounds are yours, guys. Make whatever background you want. I just draw some cool leaves. Your leaves don't have to look like mine. I drew my leaves different from my other one. I'm just going to color it. Color everything that I want. Color all my background. Fill these bad boys up with tons of color. But they're going to look absolutely amazing, guys. All right. There you go. This is mine. It's all done. Yours is going to be look different. Everyone's is going to look different. Also, sign your name. Oh, my goodness, guys. We always need to sign our artwork. Because we're artists. And artists always sign their artwork. 
So I like a first name and a last name. And put the year. Why not? All right. And once you have all of that, we are all done. I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much. This is mine. I hope you guys had a good time. Goodbye. See you next time.